Hey Seesaw teachers, it's Angela and I'm here to help you navigate the end of the school year. For those of you using our paid service, Seesaw for Schools, I've got four tips for you today. So here we go. First of all, you might be thinking, how do I see if I'm actually using Seesaw for Schools? So it's pretty easy. When you sign into Seesaw, tap your profile icon in the upper left, then tap the gear icon and account settings. When you get into your account settings, you will notice that your subscription status says Seesaw for Schools. Let's also make sure you are connected to your school. So when you tap your profile icon in the upper left and look all the way to the bottom, your school name should show. If it says select your school, go ahead and click on that and then find your school. All right, let's jump into tip number one. First, leave your Seesaw class as it is. You don't need to do anything. Don't archive your class. Your administrator will actually take care of everything for you. After school is out, they will archive your class and create new Seesaw classes that will be ready for you when you return to school. There's so much amazing learning that has taken place in your classroom this year. Let's make sure your families are connected. So let's go into step two. We want to make sure that families are connected so they have access to all the amazing work their child has submitted to Seesaw. When you're signed in as a teacher, just click on the bottom right, plus families. That will get you access to inviting your families via a paper invite, or you can view a sample email as well. I also encourage you to check out our video all about connecting families. Now at the end of the year, it's also a great time for your students to reflect on all the amazing growth that they have made throughout the year. So here we are at tip number three, create a best of folder in Seesaw. When this class gets passed on to next year's teacher, because you're using Seesaw for schools, they will have access to this folder as well. Please make sure to check out our full tutorial video about creating a best of folder. We know you're busy at the end of the school year and we don't want you to make some of the common mistakes that teachers do at the end of the year. So let's go into this fourth tip. Things to avoid. Don't delete or remove students from your class. Don't delete your class. Remember, because you're using Seesaw for Schools, you can leave your Seesaw class as it is. And lastly, don't turn off family access. Now we know you're gonna be using Seesaw all the way through the end of the school year. And we have some great activity ideas for you to explore in the Seesaw Activity Library. So let's take a peek. It's a great time to reflect on learning, wrap up your school year, and also celebrate teachers and classroom community. So keep an eye on your activity library inside Seesaw. You'll be seeing these collections showing up very soon. If you wanna keep learning all summer long, don't forget to stop by our YouTube channel. We have hundreds of recorded webinars and videos to help you continue learning about Seesaw. Seesaw teachers, we hope you have an amazing end of your school year and we are so grateful to have you in our community.